If you like summer, you can look forward to the Little Roars from Tykables next year. A new version of this diaper is to be released there. The title motif is dinosaurs from the early days of the Earth, but they all look nice and playful on the diapers. From what is known so far, they will look colorful and are completely printed from front to back. The wetness indicator remains a bit of a mystery, it is said to be a completely new concept to indicate in five languages how wet the diaper already is. What exactly tykables means by this is unfortunately not described. I can't imagine anything concrete yet and am curious. An indication of the fill level is more common with medical diapers, but it is rare with the colorful printed ABDL. I can only think of the little paws from Abu off the top of my head. But they have implemented it particularly creatively there. There are paws printed on them that disappear when they get wet. And they are printed all over the diaper. So you can see very quickly and visually where it is already filled. On the outside, you can look forward to the rather thick plastic film that Tykables is now known for in some diapers. It will probably also be quite soft. It also has a particularly wide cut. There is more absorbent material between the legs. This makes the diaper feel thicker and more material is of course good for the absorption capacity, as it tends to absorb more and does not leak so easily. The manufacturer calls this the waddle cut. It's not quite as bad as it sounds. You can still run normally without having to run with extremely wide legs. But you can feel that the diaper between the legs is thicker and of higher quality than A0815 medical diaper. This cut is not exclusive to the Little Roars, but is also available from some other brands. The absorption capacity is stated as 7,500 milliliters, as with some other diapers from this company. In a previous news episode, for example, I presented the new design of the Puppers, which also has an absorption capacity of 7.5 liters. Positive. They use the ISO test, which is standardized. Other manufacturers do their own tests. In my opinion, these tests are all impractical, as you can regularly see in my own videos when I use the diapers in everyday life. But with your own tests, you can of course change the conditions so that you get the best possible absorption performance. In addition, different types of tests are not comparable with each other. If an absorbency rating does not say ISO, you can assume that it is not the standard test, but your own. Rears, for example, has its own tests, so you cannot conclude from the higher absorbency figures from Rears that these diapers can withstand much more than a Tykables with only 7.5 liters in the ISO test. Personally, I find the new little Roars interesting and will take a closer look at them when they are released and then also available to buy here. Until then, it will still be quite a while and I have planned various practical tests on other diapers, including the Little Rascal and Little Kings. How do you like the Little Roars? Let me know in the comments and I hope you'll be back for the next video. Stay dry in your diaper!